Latin America is now at a crossroads. It is these times when the politically impossible becomes politically inevitable. Ya no basta crecer. Se trata de igualar para crecer y crecer para igualar. América Latina sigue su marcha para consolidarse como una región incluyente, democrática y en constante progreso. Democracy is pretty well entrenched now in these countries. Now the process of opening up their economies and connecting them to the global economic grid is starting. Que América Latina puede encontrar una nueva era de dinamismo económico en el comercio internacional si piensa de forma más integrada. Es el momento de estar atentos de los acontecimientos en Cuba para poder restablecer la integración latinoamericana como realmente debió siempre de haber sido. Relations between countries are being defined by societies and peoples, and we see commerce and investment as a central part of this. Lo que uno imagina en América Latina es que seamos capaces de llevar la economía legal y formal para que reemplace a las economías criminales. The way to tackle this is to build the foundations, the rule of law, and access to justice. Judicial system and institutions are key factors to attract foreign investments. Es bien importante cómo se invierte en los fondos del pueblo y que esa inversión tenga el mayor impacto en la calidad de vida de los ciudadanos. If the region needs to preserve its social and economic achievements, structural changes must be addressed. We have a very big gap in what is the size of infrastructure investment in other regions versus what we invest in our region. Infrastructure brings connectivity and increases economic opportunities for a country, but it also connects people. Innovation and social investment need to partner in a way in which we can not only be green, but we can have access for all. Consumer-driven sectors, health sectors, telecommunications, technology sectors, energy sectors, all typically have a big burst of activity when innovation is permitted to exist. The next generation of internet users will come from emerging markets, and this is where Latin America plays an important role. El siglo XXI es el siglo de aquellos que son capaces de generar talento, desarrollar talento e integrar talento. The new generation come across disrupting the way things are done. We have to meet the middle class expectations. That means jobs, skills, training, education for the next generation, for the youth. Real development in our nation is investing in women and girls. It's not just good for women, it's good for societies. Unless there are cooperative actions on civil society, government, and business, we're not going to solve these big problems. How can we make this transition faster, better, and more inclusive for the society? Hay talento, hay capital, hay innovación y hoy me da gusto oír una Latinoamérica que es mucho más ambiciosa en lo que quiere lograr. El avance civilizatorio tiene que ser avanzar, modernizarnos, pero con los seres humanos incluidos.